Well, as you saw, the designated stand-in for the Prime Minister today was Foreign Affairs Minister John Baird, and he stuck to a tight script denying that Stephen Harper did anything wrong. Well, let's bring in our MPs for their thoughts. Finance Committee Chair James Rajat, NDP House Leader Nathan Cullen, and Liberal Deputy Leader Ralph Goodale join us here in the foyer. James, i got to ask you, is it, is it not strain credibility a little bit that the Prime Minister's legal advisor helps write a deal to bail Mike Duffy out of a housing pickle using the Chief of Staff's money? Where, wh why would that not suggest that there's some connection to the Prime Minister in that somewhere? Well, but Don, I mean, in fairness, both the Prime Minister and Nigel Wright were crystal clear that uh, the Prime Minister did not know about uh, Nigel in terms of the, the check for uh, Mike Duffy's expense claim. So I think we should take both gentlemen at their word on this issue. I mean, clearly there was a situation with expenses that does need to be addressed, and, and people are, are um, justifiably very upset about that. So we should find oh. out exactly what's going on with the expense claims of the uh, senators in question. Any money that was not pay, that was paid to them that should not have been paid to them should obviously be paid back. The audit should carry forward with respect to the other senator in question. Uh, but these senators are out of our caucus. Uh, Mac Harb is out of the Liberal caucus. And, and then let's let the ethics commissioners deal with the situation as it unfolds. Hey, does, does the prime minister have plausible deniability? Do you believe him? Um, if his record was good on this issue, then maybe, but it isn't. Right? This is the prime minister that promised to clean up the Senate brought in a bill to reform the Senate and never tabled it in the House, then kicked it down the road to the Supreme Court. He appointed Mike Duffy. This is a, a problem, a crisis of his own making. This is also a prime minister who has gone to the Canadian taxpayer and said, we're going to respect your money. Can't find $3 billion. Does the robocall scandal. So on the ethics front and on the trust front, I can just imagine the pollsters now going out and saying we're tracking the prime minister's trust rating amongst Canadians and it's constant this is terrible this goes right to the heart it's his chief of staff there is nobody closer as you know to a to a leader than their chief of staff and to a prime minister and that his lawyer negotiated the deal that was potentially to keep Mike Duffy silent and then his chief of staff then funded the deal to to make this go away this is a huge huge problem because it hits right at the conservative message at who they're supposed to be and it looks a lot like the old liberal regime and that's a problem for the prime minister because that was who he was meant to come in and clean up but Ralph Goodale the damage to him if he was caught in a fit would be far greater than just admitting what he knew now he's telling the truth in your you? Well, who knows, because he won't answer the questions. And that, that I, I thought the Prime Minister this morning missed a great opportunity to, uh, to, to do something proactive to deal with this issue. Uh, instead, there were no answers. There was no accountability. There was an, the semblance of, of an apology. Uh, it, was, uh, it was all spin and turn the page, try to, try to move on to a different, uh, a different channel. Uh, and I think that only deepens the problem for him when it comes to his own credibility on this. And, and then suggest... go to Peru. Uh, sorry, it's kind of... Well, that was he's... long plan, though. Sure, but it's a, it's a trade mission with countries we already have trade agreements with. Well, so we'll he's going down, he's, he's, trying yeah. to, he's trying to negotiate. <laughs> yeah. He's saying, I can't be here and answer Canadians' questions, answer questions from the media, simply because I got to go to a trade mission to Peru, where we already have a free trade uh, deal but with. But in fairness, Dave, and they're, they're, they're looking at establishing another zone like they have with the other uh, regions. A zone that's South already America. been superseded. Look, no, this is the biggest no, no, crisis no, no, that this no. Prime Minister has faced. I think that's so probably fair. No, but just just in response, I mean, the Absolutely. Prime Minister still has to do his job, both yeah, domestically and, and, and internationally. And his so. domestic job right now is to answer to Canadians who said, all, it, what so happened so in the Senate? This, what did answering, you know? this answering so, so could have begun, could have happened last week. The Prime Minister was around all of last week. He made a trip to New York. He was he was in the country and available to answer questions if chose he wanted to. to. He chose not to answer those questions. Well, and that, that's, that feels to Canadians like, like stonewalling. If like I could, there if I are just, answers to be given, but the Prime Minister is just not. If I could just much. respond on about this. the trade deal. If I could just respond on this. The fact of the matter is, is both the Prime Minister and Nigel Wright were very clear that, that uh, the Prime Minister did not know of this situation with Mike Duffy in terms of the check before Wednesday. So both okay. both Nigel Wright and the Prime Minister have been very clear on that. But, but here's a clear so question we asked today. You know, of, so the question of, was answered. No, no, no. But here's a clear question. John Baird, as he was up in the House, saying there's two investigations going on today. We got up and asked him again, well, who? Which one? And uh, which, who's investigating? Well, and the internal and, economy and the ethics. And why not the RCMP? I mean, if, if a Canadian, here's the fact. This, this is a smell test. Yeah, well, but, but the RCMP, RCMP can said decide on their own whether they But what we're asking is this. For, the, the smell test on this is apply the same case to any typical Canadian. If they defraud the federal government of $90,000 or $9,000, 
they will be charged. Absolutely, and that's right. Why is there a second set of rules for a senator that this prime minister appointed, who then looks like he may have gone out on the Canadian dime to fundraise for the Conservative Party during elections? Jake, that's, you know, that's a you know Nigel Wright, pass. you know Stephen Harper, and you knew you knew Mike Duffy. Can you think of any reason why Nigel Wright would cough up ninety thousand bucks, a guy that doesn't give away ninety thousand dollars easy, to help a guy he didn't know that well as a friend? Well, Can you I, come up with anything? I mean, I, I don't know as to why Nigel did that or not. I mean, obviously, with his resignation, that's a huge step for him to take in terms of taking responsibility for his actions. So, in terms of why he did that, I can't answer that. But, I mean, both Nigel Wright and Stephen Harper, as you know very well, I mean, you ask him a question, you're going to get the straight truth. Well, you're going to get, in fact, you're, you're going to get a very, Don, all, very, all very basic, straightforward response. And I think we have to take them at, at their word on this issue. Oh. I mean, with respect to the accountability, like Nathan, you asked for an investigation by the Ethics Commission. And you've, you're getting one, so I'm not really sure why you're unhappy that the process is in place and you yourself you know, that, 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 That's a process that almost takes you into Never Never Land. We'll see when we ever get a report out of that, out of that exercise. What's needed right now, you've got a, a $90,000 deal coming from the Prime Minister's office that appears to interfere with an independent audit in the Senate. It appears to produce a whitewashed report about Senator Duffy. It appears to produce a, an effort by the Senate to then just shut it down a week ago Thursday. It, it begs a whole series of of questions, and only the prime minister can answer those questions. Well, on, the He's the one be able central player. Yeah. You guys are calling, or the Senate, the leader in the Senate, the leader in the Senate, is calling for the speaker to rule on a contempt of parliament charge against the PMO. Well, that's, why that, is that, that, and why is well, why isn't well, that? A, that is that is one dimension to this case, but where all of the threads come together is with the prime minister, and, and, and he owes Canadians the respect. To look them in the eye and say this is what happened, we, rather than denying it in bits and pieces. We but read we we, had, we read out the law to the Conservatives today because we thought that was important. Craig Scott, our MP from Toronto, Danforth, said, "Here's the law, and the law states that if you essentially offer favors in money or other ways to a sitting elected or non-elected member." That is contravening the law. And it seems strange to me that we have a senator who's not from PEI, appointed by this prime minister, raising funds for the Conservative on the Canadian tax. Now, I mean, Ralph is right. All of this goes back to the prime minister's own judgment. And why a chief of staff? Like, you asked the question, and it's going to be hard to get an answer. We think that this is appropriate to and do. Yeah, okay, it's can, incredible. Can I just no, respond to, like, the prime minister was crystal clear in terms of when he knew about the about the check from Nigel to Senator Duffy. So he's been very clear about that. He's very clear publicly today in terms of saying there's absolutely no excuse for a public official to try to derive pub private benefit from their position. And frankly, and I can't see what he says in caucus, but he's even more blunt internally in terms of, you know, we are public servants and we're expected to be held to a very high standard. These are taxpayer dollars. The people who are writing me, frankly, are more conservatives than anyone. We're saying, sure. I work hard, I pay my taxes, I want them to be respected. I want this full audits done. I want this thing cleaned up. And that's exactly what the Prime Minister is saying as well. But James, you know, that you're claiming, the government's claiming to be the most transparent and accountable exactly. government in, in, war, in the world today. The Prime Minister said, he wouldn't even answer a single question from anyone outside of his, his own advisors. Why isn't he important. answering some of these questions? It makes sense to me. If you've got nothing to hide, Come out and say okay, something. Okay, but what, what, what question do you want to answer? You, you, want the, you want the question of the question of when did he know? He was very clear in terms of when he knew. But what about, what about, what so, about the, the Nigel, agreement? What like about this contract? contract? There's a contract that's been established. Now, where is that contract? And you heard John Baird very carefully say today, I have not seen this contract. Or if the there private, is no single piece of paper. It might just what be emails. What email train? Yeah, it's email. That's exactly. a contract. So these questions In law, are that's important. a contract. But when somebody says, I'm open and transparent, but I'm not going to answer your questions, just read my statement. You've seen it before, right? That's that's Rob Ford style of just saying, I'm completely open and transparent, and I'm just going to make a speech. I'm not going to take a question from you because I won't lower myself to take that question. He had an opportunity this afternoon to be in the House of Commons and chose not to be. That's Good just a yeah, Frankly, the Prime Minister is regularly in the House of Commons, and if you want to compare not, not today, the attendance no, records with leaders, I think on the Prime Minister, crucial issue, issue, respect, on well, the most crucial issue, the most crucial issue that affects the integrity of, of his in government, of Commons, he chose right? to be absent today, okay. and that uh, that I think screams well, loud and clear he is, there's a problem he's here. He's coming so out to answer questions justice, tomorrow, Wilson, we're told. Acceptable. When he gets to Lima, Peru, apparently he'll answer questions. From Canadian reporters. Our Richard Madden is on the tour. He'll be uh, right exciting. there front and center. <laughs> Thank you all. Appreciate you coming in. Okay.